Hello everybody, Duke Lazy here again, and we are going to try some more Plague Inc. We're going to retry Shadow Plague. I have watched a strategy, and I hope it'll work. Apparently I shouldn't actually get any transmissions or symptoms early on, so let's just keep the Noxbird's name. I liked it. Let's see, we are awakening. A vampire erupts out of his hiding place. We're actually going to start in Greenland. Just for fun. Start with 23 points, which is nice. So I should not actually get this, because that means they can uh, notice us. And they will start curing us. So let's not get that. Instead, let's get Blood Rage and just updating that, I guess. What we will start doing is we will feed on Greenland. And we are going to feed a lot on Greenland. Let's just see. Yeah, 16 points is what we need. Let's just speed through that. We are changing the world. And we are actually just going to kill Greenland. Because, fuck oh, Greenland. I'm sorry if you're from Greenland. It's not that I hate your country, I just hate your country in this game. We're killing them slowly but surely, a couple of thousand a day. Don't really need the uh, layers yet, but we are going to be want to travel, so let's get that. Such an eerie piece of music in the background. They are tracking us, so they know we exist, which is slightly annoying. Uh, let's wait with getting Dark Ritual. Okay, we have killed everyone in Greenland. So we are going to move down to Iceland. And when we land here, we are going to eat on them. Sounds easy, doesn't it? So we're getting lots of points. We're going to keep getting lots of points. Hopefully the Templars re will react slowly. Don't want to well don't want them to. Actually, just scratch anything I just said, they just notice us. So, we will have to fight them eventually. And they have spawned. Let's see where they are. There's one in the Baltic States. One in Korea. One in Central America. And one in Indonesia. So, they are quite spread out. Let's, we actually want to move quickly here. So, uh... Let's move as close as we can. We can move to Poland. And apparently, at least the guy in the video said, they grow in strength over time. And the, they also grow in strength when you kill one of them. They will move over to the other places. Let's just try to attack them. See how long it takes us to kill them. It takes a fair bit of time. But they have been destroyed. Let's just get Dark Ritual so we will be healing when we're not attacking anyone. We are out of DNA points though. That's a problem. That's one though. Where should we go next? Let's just get these two, because there's two of them. Let's get as close as we can. I think this is the closest we can get. It's a slight problem that we don't have any DNA points. We will need two of them. It was really stupid of me to use up all of my points. Might have actually messed this up. That's a point. Let's actually feed here. That gives us more points so we can move. Can we do this in one go? Nah. It's so close, but so far away. Let's see. About to land. We have three points, so that's fine. Let's go to Korea. There will be a lot of pausing and re-engaging here, so watch our health closely. Slowly but surely killing them. And we want to move down now. We can actually, can we go all the way down? Oh, just like we just barely can do it.
Okay, so now we have to be careful. Did I move? I don't think I did. Let's see, let's move from Southeast Asia down to Indonesia. The moment we land, we attack, and now we have to watch real close on our health. Speed it up a fair bit, but. Looks like we will be winning, doesn't it? Yeah. We'll be, are we still feeding? Let's just continue to feed a little bit here. Heal up and get all the good stuff. We do want Dark Ritual as well. Or eventually we'll just heal up by ourselves. We do want Demonic Fury. I'm not sure... You know what? Let's stay here until we get that. It shouldn't take too long. Just 40 something points, I guess. 40... Let's see, 43. And we also want to wait. There we go. So we can actually move. One more tick. There we go. Let's move now. Ah, we have to move through Europe. Hopefully they're not too strong. Just crossing the world. Can't get any closer than this, so go to the tippy tippy end of Africa. Take your way over. Let's see, now we can actually get to Central America, start attacking. There we go. They should be quite strong, so uh, we'll have to jump in and out of the country. Oh wow, okay, we actually killed them. Damn! That's nice. Let's just move down to Brazil somewhere. And we will feed here for a long time. Just save up a buttload of points. I might even speed up the video here. We are deadly. Sounds like they're trying to kill us with bullets. Doesn't seem to face us though. We will also get the layers now. So let's just put down a layer here. Let's put it somewhere like here maybe. To give you some more points. Just save up a couple of points down here. Then we will move up to America. This is basically a strategy taken straight from another YouTuber, so I'm sorry if you've seen this before, but it works. So let's put down here. The thing we're doing now is uh, putting down places so we can easily come back to when the research labs start popping up. So we're just going to put down like five of them maybe, one in USA, one in Brazil, somewhere in middle Africa, and somewhere in close in Europe and maybe down in the island area. Let's see, let's put one in Central Africa. So, you're starting to go low on points, but that's fine. Let's see, put one in Russia, I guess. We'll be feeding here for a bit, get some more points. Let's put it there, that way we can actually just go everywhere we want to. And lastly, we'll put one down here somewhere, so we can easily get to all of the islands. So let's put it down in China. Just feed a bit. So 
So this is a pretty cheap tactic, because, I mean, you only have to do one thing at a time. It's not too hard. Now that we have our lair there, we will transfer down to Australia. And we will stay here until we have amassed a bunch of points. A absolute crap ton of points. And that should be nice. Sounds like a, they're trying to kill us. They can't though. We're way too strong. So I don't really care for how much score I get in this run, because I haven't unlocked anything, so... It will be easier once I've get, got more genes. That, when I get more genes we can try out Mega Brutal. Or at least Brutal, I guess. Let's see. This is the thing we want, the Shadow Portal, because we can transfer straight to our layers, which is really nice. Travel speed 2, I guess we'll get that as well. Let's just keep getting more points. I think 3 to 400 points is a good base. That way you can get mostly every great read, every symptom. Dark Whispers emanate from the southern shadow portals, increasing vampire strength. Nice. Welcome to Hellmouth combo. It's probably a movie or a book. Hellmouth. Interesting. Still hear some guns getting fired. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. I'd say 300 points is enough. I don't want to wait too long either. That is 300 points. I can't be ours waiting any longer. Let's see. Let's get Shadow Blessing. What more do we want? Good gift. Our cloud. Let's just get this entire thing. Basically, this means the country that my vampire is in will, like, massively get infected. Getting all of those, and let's just make our way somewhere here. Photophobia. Shadow slaves. Neuropathic manipulation causes severe behavioral abnormalities and eventually permanent psychosis, causing infected to become slaves to the vampire. We like that, we like that a lot. We don't want to become lethal just yet, we just want to infect everybody. Activity increased. And let's get these as well, because we will we want to be harder to cure. Okay, so we've actually created the virus itself now. And as you can see, we instantly infected everything in Australia. So let's just move from island to island, infecting everybody. Let's see. Let's wait another day like that. We have been placed on the watch list. Now we have to watch out for when... Uh, Asakos is nice. Now we actually have to watch out for when the research facilities pop up. Be prepared to attack them. Should be enough points there, I guess. Let's move to Philippines. Don't see anyone working on the cure yet. Actually, they have started, so 
Not quite sure where they're doing it. I cannot see any facilities. But let's just become even harder to cure down here. Is there anything I'm missing? Nah, not that I can see anyway. Let's move up to China, infect as many people as we can down here. New, new, oh, new lab built in Canada. Okay. That means we will travel to Canada. Super easy to do because we can just do that. We are there. Let's attack them. It has been destroyed. We're getting lots of points. Become even harder to cure. Let's see. Just increasing some infectivity. Moving right along. Oh, there's a lab I haven't actually seen. Let's see. Can I pick this? No. Let's move down there. We have to have a key now to see where they're actually planting their bases. Let's kill that. Increased chance to mutate. And we are simply just moving from country to country, infecting them. There's a new lab, so let's move to Russia. And fly down to France. Let's mess them up. Base in Iceland, which is nice because I was going out there anyway. Attack them. They are just popping up everywhere. Let's see, attack them and let's just get another vampire to make it easier for us. Have two vampires there instead of one. Yeah, they have a couple of bases now. Or I might be blind, there might just be one. Another one down. Is there anything more we can get that is amazing? Yeah, we've already gotten that, so let's just keep on moving around. Is there anywhere else now? Just picking up everywhere where they don't have like a couple of millions infected. Like so. Yeah, that is our second vampire. Let's just feed a bit there. Fill him up. And let's spread. I can see the cure is developing pretty quickly, but I can't seem to find their bases. Damn, we haven't been to Japan yet. Let's fix that real quick. We will send our second vampire down to Japan. Like so. It takes a while to actually just move around. And very soon, we will have infected the entire world. Let's see how many countries we're actually missing. Quite a few. Let's move this guy down here. Getting all of the islands, come on.
We're getting so many DNA points, I don't know if I can even be arsed to use them. I think that might be the entire world. Let's see. Okay, everyone is infected. Let's just spend our points, make this go by as quickly as possible. Getting all of this. That should be every single symptom. And just getting most of these. Nice. Noxbirds has enslaved the world. This shadow plague has fully corrupted humanity with the Noxbirds, and now, after thousands of years, the vampires can finally begin the rule of blood and pain. The world falls into darkness. Victory! Nice. The vampires rule the world. So, yeah, I did look up a guide, but that seems like hell of a way to do it. I mean, it might be overkill for normal mode, but... For brutal and mega brutal, that's definitely needed. And I got only got three stars, so the guy in the video got four, and that was on mega brutal. But I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, it was quite a bit of fun playing this type of game again. And uh, yeah, let's check out the uh, custom scenarios later on. We might as well actually check out what we just unlocked. I might just do this a couple of times and try to get all of the genes. Healthy Eater, increase vampire maximum health. That would definitely help us, help us later on. But that's it for this time. If you like this video, subscribe if you're new, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.